Hey everyone, it's Miss Trisha. I really miss doing OT with you guys at school. I wanted to share an activity of different items that you also might have around the house to work on your fine motor skills. So let's talk about how you can string beads. Um, there's some ways to make this easier or harder. So I want you to find just the right challenge at home. Of course, just talking about regular beads and small beads can be difficult to work with than something like larger beads. If you don't have beads, maybe you have buttons. For instance, I cut up a straw, so you could use the straw pieces. Or if you have dried pasta like rigatoni, anything like that would work. We could use a pipe cleaner. A pipe cleaner is rigid, so this is going to be easier. Not sure if you've heard of wiki sticks, but you could also make a bracelet out of wiki sticks. A thicker string is going to be easier than a thin string. If using both hands together is really challenging, you could work on this skill by stabilizing an item. For instance, I have a toothpick in Play-Doh. Then you could take your straw and put it on the toothpick. To make that more challenging, you could use a dried piece of spaghetti. And then you have to really be careful when you're putting items on not to break it. Typically, when we string beads, we hold it in our dominant hand and we stabilize with our opposite hand and pull through. All right, so you could make a pattern at home. You could use this during math for counting, make a bracelet for a friend that you can give them after all this is over. So have fun, work on those fine motor skills and visual motor skills, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.